2024 Board of Douglas County Commissioners uh, 530 business meeting. If you are uh, uh, looking for an agenda, we have paper agendas at the back. Do we still have some or we use them all? Okay, good. Um, so for tonight's uh, business, we did have a four o'clock work session on the flexible housing pool. That is a, a work in progress that we may hear back from in the next couple of months. Um, for tonight, we will have a consent agenda followed by general public comment. When we get to general public comment, we will welcome uh, that comment for addressing issues that are not on today's agenda, but otherwise related to county business. Given our limited time and need to have an orderly and efficient meeting, we apply certain rules regarding public comment. A recent federal court decision has provided additional clarity regarding standards for public comment. We've updated our practices accordingly. We do, not, we do our best to enforce these rules consistently and without regard to the point of view expressed by the speaker. And those are that each speaker will have a total limit of three minutes of speaking time. However, we always accept public, uh, public comment in writing at, at any length. Additional speakers may not, or individual speakers may not donate unused time to other speakers. All comments must address topics within the jurisdiction of the county commission. We also maintain the decorum of our meeting, therefore we prohibit public comments that are threatening, aggressively hostile or belligerent, fighting words, slander or speech that invades the privacy of individuals, unreasonably loud, disruptive or repetitive, or that interrupt or substantially interfere with the board's ability to conduct county business. We reserve the right to mute or remove any speaker who violates these public comment rules. At that time, we'd ask for your full name and address for our meeting minutes, and you can speak to the commission. Uh, please know that comments received by the Commission during our meetings do not necessarily represent the views of Douglas County Government, but that we value the input. We don't usually respond to general public comments on the spot, but if you leave your contact information with county staff, we'll try and get specific questions answered. After general public comment, we move to our regular agenda. Um, and at that time, we will also um, hear, from the, hear that action item from staff or an applicant, followed by questions from the commission, and then open that item also up for public comment relevant to that item. Once public comments closed, we'll bring the item back to the commission for further discussion and a vote. Uh, lastly, a recording of this meeting will be available on the county's YouTube page and website. So commissioners, we have a consent agenda. Do you have any item from the consent agenda you would like to pull for further conversation? No. All right. Uh, is there anyone in the public who would like to pull an item from the consent agenda for any further conversation? What number? Number one. Okay. Um, Sarah, anyone online? Okay. Uh, with that, I would entertain a motion for um, the remainder of our consent agenda. Does Commissioner Reed uh, move to approve consent agenda items 1.2 through 1.6? Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Um, that brings us to a consent agenda item 1.1. Commissioners, do you have anything you would like to talk about before I open that for a public comment? No. No? All right. Is there any public comment on this item? Come on up. Gene Dorsey, Lawrence, Kansas. Um, if this is the official record of that meeting and not the um, the uh, YouTube uh, Zoom recording, I think you should uh, fix the uh, transcription error that uh, changes the uh, meaning somewhat of what was discussed. And also in reading through the minutes, I found it somewhat difficult to uh, follow along some of the comments when there were slides involved. So I would recommend adding the slides discussed as an appendix to the minutes. Thanks. Thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to give public comment on this item? Do we have anyone online? Oh, closing public comment, bring it back to the commission. Any thoughts? fine with the way the minutes are happy to make a motion to approve yeah me too and i would just say a, a transcript versus a, a summary minutes this is a, our verbatim record which sometimes makes reading minutes a little bit more clunky um but i i am fine with how it is and believe that the slides as part of our original agenda packet is um typical and, and proper procedure 
And I agree that we have a variety of things out there that are available for, for public viewing. Uh, if we have a motion and a second, all in favor? I don't think we had a yeah. motion. Motion to approve the minutes from April 13th, 2024. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. That brings us to general public comment. Is there anyone who would like to give general public comment? So a local reporter here recently asked me if I was Cone and if this was California. Maybe you can help me clarify for him. Am I Cone? Is this California? Is the written word okay in here? So it's just the spoken word, right? Is that really what it is? It's just the spoken word? So the sign's okay. Obviously I am Cone, Chris. This is California. So we've cleared that up. So glad to help out our local media with that. But now that we've gotten over the fact that it can be uh, on a sign, let's make sure my audience can see as well. Now that we've gotten over the fact that it can be a sign, maybe we can revisit last week and, and find out why somebody can't say that, you know, as the greatest pussy in the county, Patrick, did you actually review the minutes? And I thought Gene made a good suggestion there about including the addendum. But I mean, as a giant pussy, I guess you can't really do that. You can't change that, right? So obviously the word's okay, right? Are we good with that now? Have we gotten over that hump? Have we? Karen, have we gotten over that hump with the First Amendment yet? Are we good? Or are you just going to let me stay and throw him out? You're going to have him arrested just like that one time where uh, you said both of us and then they just took him away. I don't know why I didn't get taken away. I'm the one that had the sign. But it's just the spoken word, right? Sarah, you're the one with the mute button. Is it just the spoken word? So you can't say it? I said it a couple times. Do I not get muted? I mean, really, guys, your inconsistencies are what caused this issue. My sign hadn't been here for a little while. Do you know why? Because it hadn't been necessary. It was obviously necessary this week, especially given what happened last week, right? So I guess this clears it up for the journal world and Condi and everybody else. I am Cohen. This is California. And our First Amendment rights do prevail. Thank you, Karen. Anyone else who'd like to give general public comment? Well, Michael, it's not just the spoken word, it's also the spelled word. My name's Dr. Justin Spies. Last meeting, uh, the, the, uh, the fourth time that you turned off my microphone for uh, referring to Patrick Kelly as a pussy, I actually spelled it. I said, uh, so Patrick, as a giant P-U-S-S-Y. And then you guys turn off my microphone. So I am, I'm really confused right now. I'm really confused. Why did you turn my microphone off last week for saying the words that I'm saying right now and that also Michael said there and that are also on this sign right here? And that's a serious question. I'm, I'm wondering why that is. What, what, what's, the, what's the difference here? Why aren't you turning my microphone off this time? So I got some questions about that. Uh, about that meeting last week, we turned my microphone off. And uh, so, so Karen, as a giant bitch, when I was speaking that fourth time, you demanded that I spoke right away. So you had interrupted me and I said, all right, uh, let, let me collect my thoughts. And you said, all right, we're done. So I, not, only, not only did I have to say the words that you wanted me to say, I also had to speak the entire time I was up here, immediately. There, there is, there, there, I couldn't have a second or two to collect my thoughts. I guess that means people can't come up here and do a silent protest, some kind of symbolic protest in, in silence up here. We can't do that. I, I have to immediately start speaking immediately because you tell me to. What, why is that? Let, let's give that one a try here. Let me collect my thoughts here for a second, Karen. 
You're not going to turn my microphone off because I didn't immediately speak for the entire time for the three minutes. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. So, Shannon, as a giant cunt, what do you think of all this? What rule do you think I'm breaking by saying words last week that I got my microphone turned off for, but now I'm allowed to uh, talk about it? Kind of seems like that rule doesn't exist, because if it existed, you'd be applying it right now as well. So really want to know why my microphone is not being turned off. And Patrick, as a giant pussy, why did you think it was okay to mask two-year-old kids during COVID? So see, I just said all that. I just called you a bitch, you a cunt, and you a pussy. And here we are, microphone, still working. Why is that? Sarah, can you answer that? Can you answer that? Do we have anyone else who'd like to give general public comment? Come on up. Gene Dorsey, Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, looking at, well, it's page 10 uh, or page 27 of 316. Uh, there's a uh, figure one supportive housing needs by uh, population chart. And um, the two biggest uh, columns on the chart are individuals age 65 plus in uh, nursing homes and then IDD individuals in institutional settings. The uh, mental health and the substance abuse uh, bars are smaller than uh, almost all of the rest of them. Uh, chronic homeless individuals is uh, fairly large and I suspect many of those would fall into either the uh, mental health or substance abuse category, but uh, clearly about half of the needs are not related to mental health or behavioral health issues and uh, shouldn't be charged against the mental health sales tax. They should go against the uh, general uh, fund budget, in my opinion. Thanks. Do you have anyone else who'd like to give general public comment? Do we have anyone online? Okay. That um, closing general public comment and beginning our regular agenda, we have one item on our agenda for a regular agenda, and that is a temporary business use permit request. And Carl, are you going to start us with that? Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. Before you tonight is an application to renew a temporary business use permit for a solar related weather station. The subject property is owned by the Kenoki Family Limited Partnership and is located on the northwest side of the intersection of North 600 Road and East 2400 Road. This property is right along the Johnson County line and on the Johnson County side, those streets are called West 167th Street and County Line Road respectively. The property is used primarily for agriculture. It has no structural development and the surrounding properties are similar in character with agricultural uses and uh, scattered residences. This property does have a temporary business use history. Last year, in last uh, June, there was a temporary business use permit approved for boring and electrical resistivity testing from the same applicant. Again, also related to uh, to uh, solar energy development. The uh, device that you see pictured there uh, covers an area of about 20 by 20 feet and it measures solar irradiance, wind speed and direction, air temperature, relative humidity, precipitation and atmospheric pressure. I've been out there several times and it does not generate any light or sound. This is a site plan submitted by the applicant giving you, giving you an idea of where the uh, device is located. So it's out in the field here. This is uh, 
um, North 600 Road. This is uh, East 2400 Road. The existing permit expired at the end of August. The original permit was approved three years ago in August 2021 with three conditions. The first one being that they meet with uh, the local fire department. As part of the review of this permit, we did reach out to the fire department and didn't receive any comment from them. There were two other conditions requiring an updated site plan and proof of insurance, and we have both of those on file. Staff hasn't received any uh, comments or complaints regarding this device. We did send out notification of this public hearing tonight. This is a temporary business use. As such, it comes directly to you. It doesn't require planning commission consideration. And we send out notice to landowners within a half mile. We sent out a total of 24 letters. Those were mailed out on August 16th. Nine of those were to landowners in Johnson County, 15 in Douglas County. And uh, since sending out those letters, we haven't received any written comment. And with that, staff is recommending approval of the temporary business use with one condition that the site be restored to its original condition upon decommissioning. With that, I'm available for any questions. Thank you. Commissioners, do you have any questions for Carl? Carl, I just want to confirm what you said there at the end. This is a renewal, yes. not a new temporary business use permit. Right, okay, thank you. Questions? All right. Um, is there an applicant here who'd like to also speak? Go ahead. Uh, yes, commissioners. Uh, good evening. I'm Jared Jevons, an associate at Polsonelli PC. I'm here on behalf of the applicant tonight, Xterra Energy Renewables. Uh, Carl did a good job of covering the renewal application tonight. Uh, thank you for giving that, Carl. And I want to just thank the commissioners uh, for their consideration tonight. All right, thank you. Um, commissioners, any follow-up before we move to public comment? Okay. This is a public hearing item. Is there any member of the public who would like to speak on this? If so, you can come up. Okay, seeing none, do we have anyone online? Or that one closing public comment, bring it back to the commission. Um, since this is a renewal and we don't have any public comment on it or comments to us, and there's been no um, complaints about it over the past three years, um, unless other commissioners want to have more discussion, I'm happy to make a motion on this one. Uh, motion to approve a temporary business, to renew a temporary business use permit to allow a so solar meteorological measurement device on property generally described as being northwest of the intersection of North 600 Road and East 2400 Road from September 4th, 2024 through September 4th, 2027 with the condition listed in the staff memo. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. That brings us to um, appointments and commission and or mis administrator miscellaneous. Sarah, can we start with your memo and then we'll work into appointments from that? Sure. Let me get it up. Um, my memo is attached to commissioners. Um, I, I would say that just there's a legislative report and the August legislative update is attached and some notes from the KC Legislative Policy Committee meeting. Um, and then um, we are not going to have a work session next week. So no four o'clock meeting. Um, the work session planned for the 18th might be pushed. So I need a few more days to kind of figure that piece out, but we'll definitely have an update for you next week if that item is ready for the commission or not. And commissioners, that's all I have. All right. Um, in terms of appointments, I have one that I've reached out to a, a, an additional time and not yet heard back. And that was for the uh, Property Crimes Compensation Board. Um, commissioners, do you have others that are in the works or ready to make motions on? I have one in the work on Peasley Tech. I'm working with Dr. Bill DeWitt and um, Mark Pruitt on that one. I should have that not next week, but the following week. Um, in terms of the Willow Springs Douglas County Fair Board position, I think we may have some interest there. So I just need to uh, get with Robin and see um, if she's received one or several 
applicant applications. And sometimes we do hear from the fair board. So I would say that's not till the next year, right. I believe. So I, I, I'd like to, if you want those appointments early, I'd like to reach out to them to sort of let them know. I think just so long as I know that there's been an interest in it, and I would like to be able to give a response about when we're likely to look at that, if not yet. So okay. normally it's closer to the end of the year. Okay, we'll go um, ahead and, and reach out to the fair board with that, and I will report back. Okay, and then you did have a, an appointment that I sent you related to the Heritage Conservation Council. I'm going to try to pull it up for you. I think we got it. I have that, Sarah. You have it. <clears throat> I don't know if commissioners are ready to make that appointment. I do want to confirm that staff has met with the individual. Yeah, and I um, also had a chance before the, today's meeting to review the attached letter of interest, and it seems like there's some really um, highly valuable experience and background um, for the HCC and, and trust Caitlin's recommendation. They also mentioned that there's been two vacancies for a while, and this one's ready to go. They're still working to find somebody else, so I'm comfortable making that appointment if if commissioners are good with that. Um, I awesome. Move to approve or to appoint Tim Lyons to the Heritage Conservation Council. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So no other appointments at the moment? No, and I think, Sarah, we have one new one to add on there. We appoint someone to the Burt Nash board, and Bruce Lease has resigned that position. Um, and so we'll need to look to fill that one. Thank you for the reminder. I am having a, a conversation with Patrick on Friday about the open position. Um, commissioners, any other miscellaneous for the good of the order? Okay, with that, we are adjourned. Thank you all for being here.